what's up you guys it's your girl tasha coming to you guys with a date night lookbook slash haul okay slash a review did y'all miss me that's how i look if i was a bald head in y'all car <laughs> so for real y'all i'm so excited about today's video so i got a new bag from winbags that are you you can pretty much say like we got a partnership okay so we're going to do the review of the bag we're going to jump into the lookbook but before we jump into the lookbook and before we jump into the review hey boo my name is tasha I focus on fashion beauty and lifestyle mainly fashion plus size fashion apple shape fashion for my apple shape girls and so all my og thank you for holding your girl Sam about this valentine's day lookbook because I, I realized that each year i do it a little different so the first year i did like over 10 looks i had looks for everybody okay so whether you're doing something solo galentine's something with your kids something with your man whether it was day or night if you're doing something themed i had a look for everybody the second look that i did last year i did about five looks like five or six looks that one was more so geared towards date night this one we're going to do like a valentine's date night series because i have a lot of pieces coming in and i don't want to hold all this stuff <laughs> And so everything come in and then you may want something and it's sold out. So we're going to do a series. And it's time for me to do a haul because I haven't done a haul in a good little minute. Okay. So we're going to do a two for one. So this is going to be, we're probably going to get like three Valentine's Day lookbooks. Okay. And if the Lord permits, <laughs> then I may come back and just do like a massive Valentine's Day, Valentine Day lookbook. But I think it'd be good for me just to break them up. Okay. So this is going to be part one. I got some stuff from Fashion Nova. And then I'm going to add some stuff too. Because I did, I got four pieces from Fashion Nova. So I'm going to add some other stuff that's already in our wardrobe. To like make a full like five or six looks lookbook for date night. You can use it for a regular date night. Or if you're trying to get some inspo for Valentine's Day. This is going to be part one. <laughs> so let's get into the review of the bag that I got from Winbags that are you and we'll get into the looks. Y'all ready? Let's get into it. Okay, guys. So this time I picked out a Gucci bag and I also picked out a brooch. I picked out the Gucci Ophidia pouch. Okay, it's like one of those wristlet type of bags. I'm really into smaller bags as I'm getting older. Let me show you guys the brooch first. They packaged that with the purse. So this is the brooch, the bag that it comes in. And it's just like a regular little brooch. I may or may not style it up in this video. I don't know, we'll see. So this is the Gucci brooch, okay? And I actually like the bronze gold over like that brassy gold. So I love that it's a bronzy gold. Okay, so you guys will see the brooch possibly in this video and now let's get into the actual bag and this is like the little stuff that comes for the brooch okay so it's inside you get a dust bag you get a box and the real bag like this is actually affordable if you are not into replicas um or if you just want a real Gucci bag and you like this bag, the real one is $8.95 on Gucci's website. Now, $8.95 may still be a lot for some people for a purse, but it's more affordable in comparison to bags that are over a thousand dollars. Okay. <laughs> so this is the Gucci Ophidia pouch. Okay, and this is real leather. So this is what it looks like. It has the canvas print. Okay, the side the back and then you do get the wristlet okay and let me show y'all the inside so this is the inside as you guys can see they put like little fake cards and stuff in here so if you don't want to carry a wallet you do have a place to put your cards but you can fit your wallet in there your keys like you can fit quite a bit in here this is pretty deep 
And so this is good, like if you're running errands, you're going out for brunch or something like that, and you can just carry this on your wrist. It's cute and simple, okay? Still giving you the luxury things, but it's not really doing too much. Cute and simple. You don't have to walk around with no big heavy bag. So and this is like lightweight. So again, this is the Ophidia pouch. Again, on the official Gucci website, this bag is $8.95 if you want the real one. I will put the link for the website, the link to this bag, my discount code, all the information will be in the description box for this bag if you're interested. Y'all ready to get into the looks? Let's get into it. Okay, y'all, so here is look number one. Both pieces are from Fashion Nova. This is the Savannah sweater dress, and this is all about the Deets moto jacket. I'm going to go ahead and get y'all some spins first. Y'all need one more spin? Let me get y'all one more spin. Okay, so you guys know that I love animal print so this is like a zebra print sweater dress i got it in a 2x they do have it in the black and white combo and it's really stretchy okay i am wearing shapewear but i'm not doing like a heavy duty shapewear it's more so like a shaping brief you guys know that i normally don't do shapewear but this is the type of dress that you need to put a little something something on okay so i have on a little shaping brief and i have on my white cream slouchy boots that are old from dsw I am going to show you guys what the dress looks like without the jacket, but I want to talk about the jacket for a minute. So this jacket, if y'all, okay, let me rewind. The YSL moto jacket, I want it real bad, but who's paying eight grand for it? <laughs> Not me, okay? And so this brand called Mishki had came out with the dupe. I'm going to put up what the YSL jacket look like. Then I'm going to put it with the Mishki jacket looks like which is a dead on too and the Mishki one is priced reasonable it's like 125 i just missed out on getting my size okay so i'm gonna link it for y'all in case anybody wants the ysl jacket and you haven't been able to find a good dupe okay <laughs> they got it they also have it in black ysl does have is it black or navy i think it might be navy but it's like a real real dark navy that almost looks black okay so they do have it in a dark version but i wanted like that burgundy version of it so when i seen this jacket on fashion Nova, right because this is like a chocolate brown with some distressing and i was like i can't get the mishy one this might be as good as it's gonna get to getting that and that's what made me get it because y'all know i don't need another motor jacket <laughs> Okay, but I don't have a chocolate brown moto jacket in my collection. And then I do like this corset detail. Okay, I like the corset detail. I like the fact that this buckle does not go all the way around because with my Zara ones, the bucket, the, I said the bucket, <laughs> the buckle goes all the way around. And that can be like a little annoying when you're walking because it's sliding out. Okay, so I do like the fact that this stops and I do like the corset detail on this jacket. This jacket, surprisingly, is really good quality to come from Fashion Nova. <laughs> okay, this jacket actually feels like some of my Zara Moto jackets, especially the ones that's like in that $49.90, $69.90 range. So, I would rate this probably like an 8 out of 10. Like, the only thing that is a little annoying is like the collar, this part. But I feel like as I keep messing with it and once I put it in my closet this like this will get pressed down outside of that everything else feels like my zara ones okay so i feel like the quality is good i love the corset detail on it i love the color of it okay the pockets are good so i feel like it's a good jacket to come from fashion nova that's it on that let me show y'all the dress okay so it's a short sleeve dress like i said it's zebra print it is a sweater knit material so how do you guys feel about the dress so i feel like you can take this to date night if you're in a more relaxed office environment you could even slide this to work i feel like if you're doing a blazer or something like that to 
You know what I'm saying? You can make it do what you do. So I feel like you could do a couple of things with the dress. So y'all need one more spin. Y'all need one more spin with the full look. Or y'all just need one more spin with the dress. <laughs> All right, hold on. So you can even do the drape. See, this is what I mean. Like once I get this collar to kind of relax, that's the only thing when you get like cheaper quality faux leather, you gotta really play with it to mold the jacket okay but i feel like once i you know what i'm saying like once we tussle a little bit you know what i'm saying she'd be okay so how do you guys feel how okay let's get into the next look y'all ready okay you guys so here is look number two <laughs> let me get some spins first because we're gonna we're gonna talk about this jacket okay <laughs> Y'all need one more spin? Let me get y'all one more spin. Okay, so I picked up this snakeskin print trench jacket from uh, Fashion Nova. Okay, now let me tell y'all what made me get this. Zara, maybe last week or so, dropped this snakeskin print crop jacket. Of course, the quality is better, but it was like in this brown print the black in the jacket was more like it, it was more detailed okay and i was playing around if i wanted it or not it actually reminded me of a jacket that i had in high school and i was like hmm, i kind of want that jacket remind me of the jacket i had in high school because i made like this other i put it in my car right not thinking that this jacket was going to sell out because it's the jacket was fire and i usually know like when pieces about to sell out and i just get it right but this one i was like hmm I don't think people won't really gravitate towards that too much. Like, I know people going to buy it. But I'm like, I think I got time to ponder on it. So, I just put the jacket in my cart. I was like, if I keep thinking about it throughout the day, I, I'm going to order it, right? 30 minutes went by. I was like, let me go and get the jacket because I really want the jacket. It was gone. No restock. It didn't come back. <laughs> okay? So, I was like, oh, my God. So, as I was looking for stuff to do, just look for, for Valentine's Day, I saw this trench on fashion over and i kept playing around with the trench in my cart because i already knew that the quality wasn't gonna give what i needed to give right but i'm like let me just still get it because i do want to eventually get like um an animal print coat or some type of animal print jacket and i've never had animal print in that form of my body y'all know that i like animal print like i would do it in clothes like a dress which is typically for a dress i'll do it in a shirt a skirt a pair of pants things like that but when it comes to me doing it in a coat <laughs> tasha is a little like hesitant and that might y'all might not think that because i do a lot of bold stuff but there's certain things in fashion i just like i don't know so me putting like animal print in a coat on my body, I just be like, mm, that might be too much. Same thing with fur. Like, I want a, a faux fur coat real bad. But every time that I've tried faux fur, whether it was a coat or a vest, <laughs> it's always giving durable, okay? So, I just haven't found my, like, my piece yet. So, I'm like, well, let me just see what, you know, animal print jacket would look like on me. Because I may have to do it in a lighter uh fabric like a trench coat so that's why i was like let me try this but the quality of this if anybody likes to like the vibe is giving the vibe okay like it's definitely giving a vibe it's definitely giving an aesthetic but the quality of it just to let y'all know for anybody that was like oh tasha i like this i'm gonna go get it the quality of this is very much giving hefty trash bag okay it's very much giving hefty glad trash bag just to let you know. So, you can't come back and say, Tasha, <laughs> you ain't tell us that the quality wasn't good. I'm telling you now. Okay? It's it's cute. It'll give a look. Okay? But the quality is giving hefty <laughs> trash bag. Okay? It's very lightweight. It is a little shiny, which I don't mind the sheen. I also like the fact that even though the quality is not good, it's not noisy. Okay, it's not a noisy. <sighs> Y'all know the flint one of the flint stones is on. Um, it's not like that noisy material, it's not like swish swish, so you can move around in it, it's not making noise. So I do appreciate that, okay. But the quality of it, 
is not good. And I decided to edge this up and do a juxtaposition just so I can like it a little bit. Because I didn't know if I was going to show this piece or not. So just so I can like it, I decided to edge it up. It does, it is, a, the sleeves are long. I decided to roll them up. So that's what it looks like with the sleeve down. But to give this jacket a little zhush, okay, I just decided to go ahead and roll it up. I have one. This is not even a dress. This is a slip that goes under the next dress. I'm going to show y'all, but it's like a thicker form. So just imagine this is like a body bomb dress <laughs> underneath the trench. Okay, and we're doing heavy accessories. And like I said, we're doing a juxtaposition. So I decided to go with a baseball cap. Okay, and then we did my um, Givenchy dupes from Target. So this is like a street style Date night look is edgy. It's fun. A night in New York. Okay, y'all know I love saying New York fashion. We got New York stuff there. So, what do y'all think about this look? So, now that I know that I like this, okay, I do plan on investing in a better quality animal print trench coat and i don't mind it being like a patent leather type of material i actually prefer that so i am going to be on the hunt for that okay so 91 more time and y'all almost there okay so let me get into the next look y'all ready see we gotta stretch out the pieces because i thought i only got four pieces okay <laughs> this is the third piece so we gotta stretch out the pieces to make the video y'all ready for the next look Hey okay, y'all, so here is the next look. I actually love this dress on me. Okay, this is the Bailey mesh dress. And it also pairs well with that same moto jacket. I'm gonna show y'all what the dress looks like without the jacket. So I'm gonna give y'all some spins. Y'all need one more spin. Let me give y'all one more spin. Okay, so again, this is the Bailey mesh dress in a 2X, okay? I love the colors in this dress. I love the way that it fits. I love that it has ruching, okay? I got it in a 2X, if I didn't say the 2X. It does come with a slip that's connected. I did um, cut it just like two thin little strings that's holding it because dresses like that, I have to do the slip separately. I cannot put it on as one. Okay, but like I told y'all in the other look, like this slip is like heavy duty. It's like spandexy, it's opaque. So you could slide with this as being like a dress or you can get it, you know, multi-purposes out of it i am gonna give you guys another look with the slip part it's the last look but i love the ruching i love the color i went in and painted with my slouchy blue boots to pull out the blue in the dress from down west but it also looks really really good with those um faux javanchi boots from target looks good with those as well so this does pair well with black okay so how do you guys like the dress and I'm, y'all don't know this. I may have told y'all this. I'm not really a dress girl, okay? I'm really not a dress girl, but I love this dress. Like this is a cute, sexy date night dress. I am still wearing the um, shaver brief, but with this, with that, um, the dress is just like a little compressing. I wouldn't need the shaver with this, but I just didn't feel like taking it off. But I like this, and it's giving me a little, <laughs> Twerk some, twerk some, twerk some. <laughs> okay, so this dress, I like it. Let me let y'all see the colors up close. It's just enough cleavage, okay? You don't need a necklace with this, I don't feel. I feel like a good statement earring and a watch is enough. I feel like, depending on what you're doing, if I was going to dinner, like on a dinner date with a guy, then I would probably do like my faux leather trench with this over the moto jacket but if i'm going out with the girls and we're going out for drinks maybe brunch or something like that then i would do the crop moto jacket so 
depending on what I'm doing, the outerwear piece would differ, okay? But how y'all feel about your dress? But I do like it paired with the brown mojo jacket. I feel like the colors bring out the jacket. So, or if I was doing something like a chill day, like not upscale, but still something, you know what I'm saying? Something cute. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I could be fashion girls so also on a date. But yeah, it just depends what I'm doing with the outerwear will change. But y'all need some more things. All right, let's get into the last thing. I'm going to do another look with the slip. I'm going to do like another edgy fun look because I also want to show you guys what the purse looks like because we didn't style up the bag. So uh, that look that I'm planning in my head, we're going to see how, how we come together. I just thought about it. Um, we're going to pair the purse and the brooch, okay? Um, with that so you guys can see what the brooch looks like and see what the purse looks like. And then we're going to close out the video. I think y'all need another smash. Let me give y'all one more spin without the jacket on. <laughs> y'all know I like this dress. Okay. Live in la vida loca. She had hips like a trunk. Trunk, trunk. That's like what, what, what? All night long. Let me see that thong. <laughs> hey, I'm acting silly now. Let's go to the next look. Okay, you guys. So here is the last look. This is another fun fashion girl look, street girl edgy look. This is a look that I would definitely wear to brunch with the girls. Okay, so imagine this with some stockings or some tights. I just ain't feel like putting that on right now because it's definitely giving cold. Okay, so I am still using the slip dress from the mesh dress that I told you guys. This dress is thick and opaque, so you can play with this. Then I just went ahead and added my oversized denim shirt from Zara. This one has like some weight to it, so you can really use this for a lot of different things. You can use it as like a jacket, you can wear it as a dress, you can wear it as an oversized denim shirt, which that's what it is. You can belt it like I did with my um statement belt to give it some structure. Added the brooch, added my hat. Again, to give it some edge, and I just pop my collar, and then I'm wearing my chunky boots. So, I think this is a cute, comfortable fashion girl look. Just in case, like, after brunch, y'all might want to walk around, go do some things. You ain't got to worry about being in no heels, okay? So, this is what the Ophidia um, bag looks like, okay? So, I would do this purse. And like I said, with the Gucci bro, just the tie in the bag. So how do you guys feel about this look? Y'all need one more spine? Let me get y'all one more spine. So let me know in the comments, what was your favorite look? Okay, this is old. The denim shirt is old from Zara. The bell is old from LP. They don't have it anymore. But this is like an easy look that you guys can recreate. I love the mesh dress. Okay. I'm going to hurry up and edit this. I've been posting already on my other platforms. Okay. <laughs> so the things are selling fast from what I've seen so far. And I just got this stuff in yesterday. So I haven't even been holding this stuff for 24 hours okay so i'm gonna hurry up and edit and post so y'all can go get the things if you want to get anything and then i need to go film another video <laughs> bye y'all love y'all